Hello, everyone. Proud to bring you Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us on the sidelines. D.A., it's all yours. Thanks very much. Now, guys, at the end of this season, there is a potential opt-out of the collective bargaining agreement. And after seeing star players hold out, some wonder if that will be exercised. Commissioner Silver says we have a common interest to ensure that contracts are honored. Those are issues we can approach collectively. Kevin? As is always the best case. David, thank you. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Shake Milton is out there with the Anthony Melton. And it's Harris in at the small four. And for Charlotte, the guard pair, Ball and Rozier. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. And it's Plumley in at the five. And today, Greg, it's about the NBA. But tomorrow, tomorrow it's about spending turkey day with family and friends. I think everyone realizes it's not something we can take for granted. Cherish those moments with your loved ones. They're likely to be your fondest memories. And so here we go, the 76ers to start it. Milton with the ball. Here's Embiid. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Embiid's got the opening field goal of the game for the 76ers. Here's Charlotte now. Both loose. Driving in, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact stop. Here's 
Solo Shear will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Trailing here by eight. Here's Plumlee. And contact on the shot. So <coughs> Checked in for the Hornets. Kelly Oubre comes in for Terry Rozier. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harrell's checked in. Now the pass to Milton. Here's Milton. Traps in the tray. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. Hornets trail by nine. Ball's not loose.
as you expect. In their eyes, that's just taking care of business. They believe they're supposed to beat this Joel team, but they'll have to see how the season series shakes out. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Oubre outside. That's good. And a throw shot with the assist. Oubre has got five points now this quarter. And once Rogier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shoot by Hornets trail by 20. Oubre outside. Nice shot off that time. Good D by Embiid. And it's Harris with the ball for the 76ers. They lead by 20. It's the most we've seen. Launches a three. Sinks the three-pointer. Harris, Harris has got eight points. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Here's Rozier. Richards passes to Washington. Oubre, no one around him. They shoot again. Pass to Rozier. Over House. And the rejection by MB. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Passes it to House. Two minutes remaining. Another three for Philadelphia. Two minutes. Richard, you played before and after the emergence of social media. How does that affect, in your opinion, the players these days uh, in that very uh, uncharted world? Well, it's a beautiful thing because players now understand that they are a brand. Social media has helped them build a brand. And so now you have the ability to connect with your fans in a positive way. And for me, that is a great thing for this league because the players are doing a great job with it. But you'd probably agree. you got to use it correctly and, and not straight to the dark side. Right? Yeah, no, stay away from the dark side. <laughs> Charlotte has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. They grab their own miss. Washington, that's good. Hey, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboard right now? Some harder second chance points. Elton kicks to Thibel. Outside, House. Another three for Philadelphia. And they're hitting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's Washington. Out to Smith. Pass to Richards. And Embiid with the block. Oubre against Harris. Basket good. Tobias Harris has got 10. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge game. And now she three throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot at that time. The whistle board. The 76ers shoot their first foul shot to the high heel. Dawson, you guys work at the foul line. Knocking down the 76ers. And so House nails both of them. Here's Rozier. with the unselfishness, but also you know, so getting guys the ball where they can do something important. His court vision has been on display in the <laughs> He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense with you. So that's what we do in the first half. So far, the one team. 76ers ahead, opening up a huge gap. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, an early lead and a lot to like in the performance thus far. Would you agree? Oh, I thought we were doing great. Defensively, I thought I'd have someone 
behind me if I made a mistake that was going to protect the rim. I thought we did great. You know the adjustments are coming, and we'll see who takes advantage. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets in foul. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track. And big fella, your thoughts on the Hornets? Well, they're not finding good shots. Cuts. Get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of thing. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period.
as a player, a rough first half, oh, it can wake you up. Sometimes it leads to a much improved play in the second half. Milton will bounce back. Two minutes remaining Here's in the third. Two Another minutes. three for Philadelphia. That's two yeah. bombs in a row from Long Range. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. Here's Ball. Stolen by Tucker. And there's the pass to Niang. Another three for Philadelphia. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. We've got 113 left to play in the third. Washington finds ball. Back to Washington. It's good. The assist that time for ball. Ball's got four assists in the game. 76ers have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Here's Tucker. Another three for Philadelphia. E. Tucker. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Hayward outside. To the left side wing. Down low. Here's Paul. Two free throws oh, coming up and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Montrez. Here's a Second Melo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. And the Hornets making a change here. Nick Daniels checked in. Harris checked in for the 76ers. Shake Milton comes in for Milton. And here's the fast break. Paul leading the way. They get it back. Second chance shot. The shot by Nick Daniels. No good. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempt here in the third. Stolen by Nick Daniels. his teammates involved with the offense working as a unit. And here's Harris from the arc. And no good in the last second to jump this shot. And so is Philadelphia. Sitting at a lead of 40 points at the end of the quarter. Terrific play. They've had some inspired games, giving a very few easy points. We'll return shortly. chance to show you our assist of the game and it's presented as always by State Farm and definitely deserving of the prize tonight how about the read he made here looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money he'll be proud of that big love when their passing skills are noticed to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest on the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth they've got Tobias Harris Shake Milton is out there with court mods then there's Harold and it's Niang in at the power Lord, forward position Niang. out of their Three last points. hot bakes how about all five from long range ball the pass to McDaniels high arcing shot and falls that's the time from ball Ball's got six assists in the game. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Niang. Another three for Philadelphia. He's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Harris, bounce pass. Here's Milton. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight Three. on the night. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the 76ers? Ned Daniels finds Jones. It's hauled in by Harris. 
Harris has got his fifth rebound in this one. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. And it's off from three-point range. Charlotte shooting around 36%. They're just not able to finish consistently. Scooped up. The kick out to Bowen. Shoots the three. Rebound by Harrell. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Hortmans, no good. The Hornets have gone one of five for the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one made. Hold in. Hook night. Some solid defense from Harris. Philadelphia has gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers are able to retain possession. 76ers. It gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. That's fine. You love the effort. Not making things easy for the opposition on offense. And the replay demonstrating once again how impressive that defense was. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Williams, he's checked in for the Hornets. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. He was all alone on that one. Niang's got 15 points in just the second half. And the call will be against George Niang. That is his first call of the game. We were seeing more fines recently for the language that players use with the media. Is that a concern? I don't think it should be a, a, a concern, and, and I'm not kidding. The, the league's going to have standards of decorum. You're, you're on TV. you got to keep it together. However, I think that as a society, we're a little more tolerant of certain words that are used in public. Here's Champetti. Pass to Court Mines. Another three for Philadelphia. So many of the Three plays they're points. running designed to create opportunities from deep. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep letting it rain. Look night passes to Williams. Good. Mark. Junior. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 15-4 run right now. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Nian. Another three for Philadelphia. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well, they don't have much of an answer. Smith on Jones. And Jones shoots it. Yeah, you got to appreciate the mindset of Smith. Solid at running the offense and finding his teammates who are open. For the three. Down it goes. Nice one there from the end. Niang has got 21 in the game. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if you want to pack it in for the game ready to go to the next. you got to at least show a little heart out here. And, and when Smith Jr. is dishing the ball, it makes everything easier, making a stronger yeah. effort to find his guys. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. He gets it in there. Jones has got four this quarter. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the 76ers. Their superior ball handling went for them. And, and fewer turnovers equals greater scoring opportunities. Any coach will tell you that. If you take care of the ball every possession, and this is a perfect example of what happens. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. As you go back and look at the last few seasons, RJ, it, it seems like team success has largely been predicated on health. Do you feel like that has always been the case? 
I don't remember there being as many injuries early in my career, even with guys that were playing all 82 games. But you're right. Recently, we've seen a lot of key injuries. And look, this is my theory. Before, players used to get away from the game a little bit, take a couple of months off. Now, players are staying in shape 24-7. Like, they never take a break. And I think that's why we might be seeing players break down a little bit more. Yes or no answer. Too many games at 82 in the regular season should be less than don't you ever ask me that question. Give me 82. I'd rather you bump it to 83 just to remove all doubt. <laughs> hey, Andy, oh, that's good. Me, yeah. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. And they get it. And Joe snaps it in. Nice job. Cleaning some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. you know why? Because they are so hard to come by. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care all what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to, to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Joel, congrats on the win. A quality win. How did you secure it? Uh, we, uh, we were talking about it before we uh, We shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. Well, you're building towards something good, man. Congratulations on the win. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. See you next time.